एनिमल नीड्स मोर केयर जी बिकॉज दे कैन स्पीक ह्यूमन कैन स्पीक आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ हाउ एनिमल्स आर ट्राफिक्ड इन एंड वॉट आर दोज बैरबेरियस वेज दे आर टेकन Every year, thirteen lakh sixty thousand animals were to the Gulf countries for the purpose of slaughtering. Uh, once you see them, the animal, that particular sheep, you will feel that it is better. They slaughtered them immediately. Animal purchased deer in India at the rate of fourteen hundred, fifteen hundred, two thousand rupees are sold at minimum twelve thousand rupees once they land at. The Country. Even the weapon uh, trafficking, counterfeit notes, fake currencies, mm. drugs—all these activities, animal was the, just an instrument. Hi, welcome to KC Talks. Today we have a famous personality. His unique work is. animal right activism so let us understand from him what does an animal right activist do in this in in current india hello namaste Hi. sir namaste so pranam sir we have heard a great about you kamlesh ji from dr sadev swami so we just wanted to know your your introduction uh, we all do bit whatever possible for mm-hmm. us out of you know all our other activities also uh but uh, as a for uh, so long as the animal uh, rights and animal welfare related issues are concerned in fact uh, i am associated i am the uh, legal committee member of uh, animal welfare board of india okay and uh, um, slaughterhouse committee member of animal welfare board of india okay that's uh, department of animal Hus- ministry of animal husbandry okay uh, government of india and uh, also this for the border management committee bm2 Under the Ministry of Animal Affairs, so that is for also for the smuggling of the animals and all specifically. Mm. Now, so long as the uh, animal uh, related activities you ask, see, it is a very vast field, very vast field, uh, and the uh, act, uh, animal needs the care in this country because you see, uh, population of animals also very huge, more than fifty crores, you know, domestic animals are there. Okay. Uh, you includes the buffaloes, cows, bull, bullocks, and all more than fifty crores, which is you know the uh, population of those fifty crore animal is total uh, uh, population of I think more than forty two countries. Oh, okay. Human population okay. of more than forty two countries. So it is a vast field, uh, but still uh, animal needs the care and maintenance also. Hmm. and we are trying to basically we are on the uh, field of legal work hmm. where the, you know the illegal illegalities are infected or some uh, cruelties are infected to the animals hmm. and and the you know slaughtering are done so there we our uh, you know function starts so kamlesh ji i want to ask you a basic question human rights you know we hear of why does an animal need a right why animal needs any any rights true good question see actually uh, animal needs more care you see because they can't speak mm-hmm. human can speak mm-hmm. now the one uh, very popular judgment uh, reportable judgment uh, was there of a nagaraja in famous case of jalikattu mm-hmm. they says that there are the about the they talks about the five freedom mm-hmm. and uh, the animal rights need to be elevated now mm-hmm. because the human being are the custodian of animal now when you are custodian definitely you have to take care you are responsible to take care as a custodian now since the you animal cannot speak it is a definitely obligatory for the human to speak for their uh, needs and for their pain and pang as well as their care mm. so animal needs the rights you know and and uh, see the rights are also uh, you know uh, now of course when you compare with the human maybe the you know the human rights are always higher than the animal rights and uh, more priority is given to human rights but that doesn't mean the animal has got the lesser right because the because the same pain pain and you know same kind of uh, sentiments animal also carry hmm. only thing we don't know that uh, to what extent 
they are feeling it or or they are not because don't speaking so what what are the happenings to inside the animal's body but still their expression can say and there are the scientific evidence are there so we need the care Okay. And 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 we can understand. You see that uh, what they uh, are, are going through the situation. Hmm. So, sir, you are also a committee member of Slaughterhouse uh, Committee member. Yeah, right? yeah, inspection committee. Inspection committee member. So, just tell us that what do you, what are the cruelties that you see? Uh, because slaughterhouse means killing of animals. Yes, yes. So, but what is what is your take on slaughterhouses and the cruelty towards humans on animals? Oh, wonderful. Now, see. Uh, human slaughtering hmm. now slaughtering cannot be human hmm. now what is needed in the you know according to the our uh, statute and law uh, books of uh, uh, law they said the slaughter has to be human slaughter mm -hmm. now how can be the human slaughter without you know infecting the pain hmm. and against the wish of the animal hmm. you cannot slaughter hmm. so you know uh, the animals are and and, and plus that the process you know uh, through which they have to pass right from the uh, transportation to uh, transportation to the uh, this uh, corridor of the slaughterhouse then inside the slaughterhouse uh, inside the lairage area uh, pre mortem post mortem everywhere now animals uh, uh, we have found you see uh, it is like that uh, uh, if you uh, you have to at least slaughter 13 uh, laws rules before slaughtering one animal now if you anybody says that we are following all the rules and we are slaughtering that is not possible we have seen that you have to slaughter first 13 rules hmm. and then only the animal can slaughter so okay. slaughtering itself you know is a, a hub of the illegal activities okay uh, a, animals are certified you know uh, now uh, i will give the example there is a one veterinary doctor can issue uh, uh, can examine 92 animals mm. uh, in a in, in a shift mm. and uh, either they can pass fit for the slaughter or reject uh, because it's unfit mm. but uh, we have seen often that one veterinary doctor is issuing 1100 1400 certificate in a day okay where they has got the you know the law, rule says it is the 92 only and what is that criteria whether a man animal should be slaughtered or not slaughtered what is the no, basic no 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 that that is a uh, uh, criteria are very vague very vague uh, yeah it, it, it's all on the uh, you know discretion of veterinary doctor he will say this is fit and uh, this is unfit jab uh, merely they have to show that there are they are working properly and they are working diligently they will reject some animal as a symbolic if if at a slaughterhouse some thousand animals are coming inventories they will reject 10 animals 12 animals that those animals are uh, unfit for the slaughter mm. rest of the animals are fit now whatever is rejected for the uh, uh, on the ground of unfit the those they will break the spinal cord either or they will you know uh, they will uh, uh, brush their eyes uh, and or or their tail they will break the tail and they will make they make them handicap and then they will now it is fit for the slaughter because it is unproductive and again it will go to the slaughterhouse so it is the 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 fate is same whether it is <coughs> fit or unfit so it is all a drama yeah it, it's a, whether it is a, a stamped as a fit or unfit today's uh, unfit is tomorrow's fit hmm. so there is no integrity in this work no 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 absolutely no because mm -hmm. veterinary and doctors they, they you see uh, they just mechanically issue the certificate mm -hmm. mechanically they don't examine the animal actually mm -hmm. they will just open the mouth and count the teeth and see that this is the age under age no at the fitness fitness is okay they will say it is a productive unproductive unproductive come on slaughter it mm -hmm. so what are the other because uh, uh, i was told kamlesh ji that you saw you know you see you seized some containers of ship carrying you know uh, animals and you seized certain uh, huge trafficking of animals you know so how how so i just want to know how how animals are trafficked in and what are those barbarous ways they are taken 
इट्स अ ब्रूचल इट्स अ ब्रूटल आई टेल यू सर इफ इट इज अर इफ दे हैव टू शिप दिज एनिमल गो बाय द सी वे देन वेन द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द शिप पर्टिक्युलर इज अबाउट इलेवन हंड्रेड टू ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एनिमल्स दे डंप ट्वेंटी सिक्स हंड्रेड टू ट्वेंटी सेवन हंड्रेड एनिमल देर इज नो फॉर्डर अरेंजमेंट नो वॉटर अरेंजमेंट दे हैव टू ट्रैवल एटलीस्ट अबाउट एट डेज टू रीच द गल्फ कंट्रीज एट टू नाइन डेज द जर्नी इज देर एंड दे डाई ड्यूरिंग द जर्नी दे जस्ट थ्रो इन दी सी वॉटर एंड दे डिस्पोज दैम सो यू नो देर इज नो ह्यूमन केयर द एनिमल द मोमेंट एनिमल कम्स एट द पोर्ट द क्रोअल्टी स्टार्ट इन जस्ट इज स्टार्ट विद द एनिमल वी हैव सीन दैट we watched it many times number of times and then eventually uh, even in fact we filmed also and eventually we took up the matter with this uh, concern ministries uh, dgft and export uh, uh, commerce ministry and uh, import export department animal husbandry ministries and all and uh, uh, plus the shipping ministry and eventually now the government has stopped it and the port one port was there dedicated and working about since last 40 years every year 13 lakh 60000 animals were uh, shipped to the gulf countries for the purpose of slaughtering mm. that has stopped but you see uh, uh, once you see them the animal <coughs> uh, in the that particular ship you will feel that you will very sorry to say that you will feel that see it is better they slaughter them immediately because the process from there we have to they have to pass in mental stress and um, uh, uh, cruelty continuously because there's uh, very heat uh, during the day time uh, on the uh, sea route the sun is there and the entire dock is open at night it is a chilling cold mm. now no protection for the animal they are there is no animal. there is no loss on how that uh, you know the, the, the animals, animals have to be Yeah. send out what yeah. protection it should be are there no yeah. laws governing them no 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 even the wto has framed the laws and uh, world animal health organization also have framed the laws and rules in fact the india uh, is the uh, founding country for this uh, uh, world animal health organization member founder member 183 countries are member at present and there are the rules but you see all rules are uh, just for the you know uh, it's on the paper no rules are followed whether it is a india or it is a australia or it is a us or whichever the place animals are shipped the same uh, uh, it is the same fate and mm-hmm. and the same process they have to pass and uh, hundreds of animal die but they don't bother about the dying because you see the the uh, money involved in that now the animal purchased deer in india at the rate of 1400 1500 2000 rupees are sold at minimum 12000 rupees once they land at the country mostly Import they country. go to gulf countries most mostly gulf countries hmm. 12000 rupees now 10 times 15 times money money they earn so they don't bother about it plus there are so many illegal activities are were involved money laundering uh, even even the weapon uh, trafficking counterfeit notes fake currencies mm. drugs all these activities animal was the just an instrument it was a, a currency for the exchange in the exchange of animal you get uh, weapons you get drugs and it is not in gulf but in between on the sea route there are the several countries famous for this mm. and the animals are traveled there so so it's all activities are you know uh, going on under the grab of this uh, particular uh, export of the animal thank you so much sir to show yeah. some light on that so we expect that one day such yeah. brutal activities are yeah no now no, uh, luckily uh, the ministry also helped a lot hmm. they understood the uh, you know uh, the uh, cruelty and the illegal activities and money laundering even the terror uh, supporting the uh, terror funding and all so uh, ministry itself have almost the made such a stringent rule that uh, now not a single animal uh, is exported through the sea route the not a single animal that's we should thankful to the ministry 
for mm. such a drastic and such a you know praise worthy step mm. so the government it is also the government also is alert they want to work but only problem is we should uh, present our matter to the government we should bring it to their notice and they do uh, support thank you so much yeah. for doing this justice yeah. to animal yeah. sir okay namaste nice to talk to you thank you thank you, thank you.